<laughs> Welcome to Alphabet City. This is the show that covers everything to do with Alphabet. Alphabet happens to own lots of companies like X, Wing, Waymo, and Google. I'm your guide, Ayaz Akhtar, and you are the excellent audience today. We're talking about the Galaxy Note 10 drone delivery, your comments, and more. But first up, it's off to Pixel Park. Google has some kind of announcement set for May 7th. That would be the same day as the start of Google I.O. On the same page where the company is promoting its new Avengers AR pack, a message reads, on May 7th, something big is coming to the Pixel universe. People are thinking this could mean the Pixel 3a and 3a XL. A few hours before Google's announcement, this tweet by Stephen Hall of 9to5Google said he'd seen evidence that the Pixel 3a would hit the Google Store on May 7th. That seems about right. If you're curious about the Avengers Endgame pack, Google says it's available now in Playground. The demo video shows off taking pictures of Iron Man and Captain America, along with a tease that little known movie, Avengers Endgame. 9to5Google dug into a beta version of the Google app. Inside, they found what could be the code names for the Pixel 4 and the 4XL. The 4 would be Coral, a name that has popped up before in benchmarks. Google Coral had a Snapdragon 855 processor and 6 gigs of RAM. Then there's the 4XL, which is known as Flame or Flame Angelfish. Google phones have had code names matching sea life for a while now. Let's go to Galaxy Gateway. There's a new report by ET News that says there will be four Galaxy Note 10 models. ET News has a pretty good track record when it comes to Samsung reports. There would be two LTE models. One would have a 6.28 inch screen, the other would have a 6.75 inch screen. The smaller one would have three rear cameras, the larger four. The other two would be 5G models, but essentially be the same otherwise. The ET News report says that Samsung found success with the various versions of the Galaxy S10, and it's applying the same strategy to the Note. How will Samsung name the different Notes? Reliable leaker Ice Universe tweeted this, Note 10 Pro. Now that seems possible. Samsung does have a Chromebook Pro. In actual phone news, Samsung introduced the world to the Samsung Galaxy A80. This is a mid-range phone with Samsung's new Infinity display. On the front, there are no notches or cutouts. The front camera is actually the rear camera. Let this video explain. The back camera assembly slides up and then flips towards the front. This is actually pretty nuts. The camera unit has a 48 megapixel shooter as well as an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera. Here are the other specs. It's got a 6.7 inch AMOLED screen, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage. It also has an on-screen fingerprint scanner. Pricing and availability is not yet known. In the past, Samsung has said it would put new features in mid-range phones before they would hit the flagships. The first Infinity O display and phone with four rear cameras showed up on Samsung's A-line first. CNET's Jess Dulcourt speculates that this could be a more conservative approach by Samsung. Test out new features on mid-tier phones, then graduate them up when they work. On to Uptown updates. Wing is clear to operate delivery drone service in Australia. Wing has been testing its tech in Australia since 2014. Now, what will Wing drones deliver? The company says it's partnering with businesses to provide food and drinks, over-the-counter pharmacy items, and locally made coffee and chocolate. And for those of you who don't know, Wing is under the Alphabet umbrella after spinning out of Alphabet's X company. A report by BuzzFeed News says that Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin have not attended any of Google's weekly town hall meetings this year. These meetings allow Google employees to ask questions. The report says Page and Brin have attended the meetings for years, either together or separately. YouTube is getting into interactive videos, kind of like Netflix's Bandersnatch. The interactive arm will be headed by Ben Rellis. Rellis previously served as the head of YouTube unscripted programming. YouTube TV has raised its price from 40 bucks per month to 50 bucks per month. The service picked up Discovery Channels and HGTV. If you're billed through Apple, you get to pay 55 bucks per month. If you're feeling epic, you can get epics for six extra bucks per month. If you get YouTube TV, you get over 70 networks, three concurrent streams, and six accounts per household. The price change went into effect on April 10th. Current subscribers will see the new price in the first billing cycle after May 13th. On to Comment Cove. This is the part of the show where we shine a spotlight at the most amazing audience in the world, you. 
In the last episode, I asked, who is the Palm Phone for? Tango Fox says, the Palm Phone is for parents who have children and are not buying their child a flagship phone. Fair enough. We also talked about pricing out a Galaxy Fold replacement. If you combined a smartphone with a tablet and a laptop since there's a DeX experience, what would it cost? With my very conservative estimate, I came up with the price of $1,250. Hector says, your math was wrong when trying to compare the Fold to an all-in-one if you take into account that it's a premium phone. So it shouldn't be compared conservatively. The price would be more like the S10 5G variant, which makes the phone around $1,600. A Samsung Chromebook would be around $400, plus a Samsung tablet at the same price. The total is $2,400. That means Hector's numbers make the Galaxy Fold a good deal. Thanks for those numbers. John Fox says, I love my S9 Plus slash DeX layout. I bought a small Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. I can now set up shop anywhere I get Wi-Fi or a cell signal by remoting into my desktop computer at home, which then connects to work. They won't let me remote directly into work from any non-Windows device. I also use it for presentations using either Chromecast or an HDMI cable. I will never buy a laptop or tablet again. The only thing my tablet is good for now is watching movies on an airplane, and I haven't used a laptop in months. Thanks to everyone for writing in. If you've enjoyed your stay in Alphabet City, please like and subscribe. I'm Aya Zaktar, and I'll see you online. There's a new report saying you'll be able to get the Google Pixel at T-Mobile. That's right, the days of Verizon only are ending, maybe.